What's happening everyone, Jay Shockblast here, and I'm just gonna cut right to the chase, okay? Uh, today PlayStation announced that Spider-Man is coming to Marvel's Avengers by Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix, and it is a PlayStation exclusive. Listen, I have the PlayStation 4 Collector's Edition pre-ordered. This does not affect me. I am going to be able to play Spider-Man, but you know, there are gonna be a lot of people getting this game on Xbox and PC, and Stadia, probably not Stadia, um, but there are gonna be a lot of people getting the game on, on these other platforms, and they are segregated from being able to play Spider-Man. They are, are not going to be able to play Spider-Man. He is a PlayStation exclusive. Now look, Spider-Man has his own entire video game on PlayStation only. He's already been segregated to the PlayStation, okay? Why are we doing this? Like this literally, i it's not gonna affect me. I'm getting the game on both platforms. Obviously, I'm an Xbox guy. I prefer playing on Xbox. And I, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a big deal because the, the progression doesn't translate. It's not cross progression, you know? So I'm gonna have to play individually on each console. But how are you going to keep your most popular character away from certain people because they didn't buy a PlayStation, because they have the audacity to want to play the game on another platform. This is a cross-platform game. When we buy cross-platform games, we do it under the understanding that all things are created equal, but they're not. Not if you're Marvel games. And you know what? I've met a lot of the people from Marvel games. I've met a lot of people from Marvel games, Bill Roseman especially. All right, and I'm under the impression he's kind of at the top. So I feel like this is a decision that he would be involved in. And it's really frustrating to me to like, cause I want to support this. And I'll tell you what, man, I'm not looking for a pat on the back, but millions and millions and millions of views on my channel have been helping people, you know, get better at playing Marvel video games. I've covered, I cover literally every Marvel video game they make in some capacity. I try my best to try out everything, all right? Like, I, I even own those old Thor and Iron Man video games on the 360, all right? Like, I I try everything. I'm not one of these people that just shows up for the big titles, you know? Like, I was one of the biggest Marvel Heroes Omega streamers consistently. Were there other bigger people that would stream it from time to time? Sure. But I was out there every single opportunity, every single time there was new content, making new content. And look, I understand being critical here, could hurt my my potential you know interactions with marvel games and crystal dynamics on this and that sucks like i i have to make um you know this is a morals issue for me you know i have to make a, a choice of whether i'm gonna like stand up against something that i think is wrong like spider-man would do or if i'm gonna just sit here and just smile and nod and and just hope somebody else does all the shouting for me and then swoop in and, and hope they hit me with that Xbox code. Because I'm not gonna lie, that's certainly what I'm hoping. I'm buying the game on PlayStation 4, and I have no problem buying the game on Xbox One too. But you know, I am gonna definitely, hopefully get a code for it. And you know, that would definitely help me, but I don't care. Like this isn't about that. And I know that I'm not like helping anything by saying, yeah, I'm gonna still buy the game. But like, it's freaking Marvel. Like I'm so excited for this game. And now they literally punched me in the gut and they're saying, hey, by the way, we're gonna do these terrible, old fashioned, antiquated business practices because uh, reasons. Like whether you're gonna get a couple extra bucks from Sony so that you can just give them Spider-Man like at every freaking opportunity. Like you're giving them a second game that only people on PlayStation 5 can play. Like why, why is this happening? This doesn't seem necessary. And if you wanted to say, hey, they got a month early access, all right, fine, okay? If you wanted to say they get the advanced suit uh, as an exclusive, okay, fine. If you even wanted to give them a mission or two or three that's exclusive to just PlayStation, but the entire character, the entire character. Now, I, I want you to, to understand why this is so frustrating to me, because when Marvel and, um, when, when they put Spider-Man PS4 uh, on the PlayStation 4, right? Um, there was a pride flag in the background 
and people found it and people saw it and people rightfully celebrated it and they put it everywhere and all the Marvel games people came out there and said Marvel is for everyone except if you don't play on PlayStation 4 how like that's the part that drives me insane like you're gonna tell all these people that Marvel is for everyone when not everyone can actually experience it and you're gonna do it again with this and then I have to read something on the PlayStation blog written by Jeff Adams the associate art director for Crystal Dynamics now listen I've never met Jeff I'm sure he's a great dude and what he wrote really hits me on a personal level because I'm him. I feel the same way. I, I appreciate what he's saying and he should be able to say it and be proud of it and I understand all that. But listen to this. This is so personal for me because I cannot remember a time when I didn't love Marvel and all its colorful characters, each more real and believable than the next. How, how can you write that and then at the end of the article, it says that we can't wait for you. Uh, we can't wait for you to add Spider-Man to your Marvel Avengers roster in early 2021. And as we've promised, he will be available at no additional cost to owners of the base game exclusively on PlayStation. How can you talk? about your love of Marvel characters and how you can't even remember. You can't even remember what it's like to feel, not feel love for these characters and then say, oh, by the way, you got a PlayStation? Only you can play Spider-Man. It's not right. It's not fair. It's not right, all right? Because there's some little kids out there who aren't fortunate enough to be like me and own an Xbox One and own a PlayStation 4 with freaking Spider-Man's logo on it and own a Nintendo Switch and own a sick gaming PC. Like there are kids out there that they got one shot and some of them, they got an Xbox, all right? And you're telling that kid, sorry, you can't play Spider-Man. That is wrong on every level. And if you like, if you honestly just smile and nod and, and, and just let it happen and, and say nothing and, and don't criticize it, you're letting that kid not play Spider-Man, you know? You, you, all these people paid the same price for this game as everybody else, okay? But you can't play Spider-Man because you didn't happen to get the PlayStation 4. You got the Xbox One. And for whatever reason you chose, could have been a million reasons, you know? You, or you chose to get a PC. You know, you don't have a console at all. You like to play games on PC because they look better, because they play better, because of whatever reason you chose. You can't play Spider-Man because you're not part of, apparently, the, the PlayStation Master Race. I mean, we might as well, like, I mean, they're already segregating him there, so, I mean, that's that's what it is, right? Um, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, there's a part of me, like, that feels like, I, I want to have a good working relationship with Marvel. I don't pressure them. I don't pester them. Same thing with, you know, Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix. Like, I try to be supportive. I love their games. I, I love Final Fantasy. You know, I love... I'm so excited for Outrider. I, I've really enjoyed playing Tomb Raider games. You know, I, I want to really... I've been such a, a... I've been ready to hype this game for so long. This is going to be one of the biggest games of the year for me. Probably next year, too. You know, like, this is a very important game to me. And now it's soured because we're, we're doing business in a game where everybody is going to be involved. Like, I, I really don't understand it. And honestly, I feel like the feedback has not been positive so far. And I don't really think it's right um, that we're here. And I'm going to start going in circles, so I'm going to go ahead and stop now. If you are a PlayStation owner, um, I think you, it's fair that you're excited for this news. And you should be, right? I mean, you're going to get to play Spider-Man. But you should also feel... You sh this should not be a time for console wars. This should not be a time to dunk on Xbox and PC players. Th this should be a time to come together, because we're gamers, right? I, I like to think that we're all in this together, uh, even if Marvel Games doesn't. So, um, bad choice, bad decision. I don't support it. 
it's really unfortunate that it's come to this. 